The EF499 may look virtually identical to the EF500, but those DACAMs are more different than they seem. The EF500 not only offers a more powerful headphone amplifier section, but it's also the most affordable model to include Hyphen's proprietary Himalaya digital to digital converter chip with R2R ladder technology. But is it enough to make it worth it? The first thing that strikes you when you unbox the Hyphen EF500 is how substantial and well-built it feels. This isn't a lightweight desktop toy, it's a serious piece of gear. The chassis is all metal with a clean, industrial design that makes it feel very intentional. It has that vertical, tower-like form factor that really sets it apart from the more typical, flat Decom designs. It reminds me a lot of the EF600. The front panel is pretty minimal and functional. You get a large but smooth volume knob that feels great to the touch. Next to it there is a smaller, simple selector for high and low gain and choosing between oversampling modes. The finish itself is made silver with black accents. It has this slightly retro-futuristic vibe that reminds me a lot of vintage studio gear. However, keep in mind that this little thing can get a little warm during long sessions, especially if you're driving very demanding headphones. Everything here is neatly arranged and the ports themselves feel solid, nothing is loose or misaligned. You can tell Hyphen took their time with the physical engineering, which honestly isn't something you can say for all hi-fi DACAMs in this price range. The EF500 feels rock solid. It looks clean and professional. It's just well thought out. You put this thing on your desk and it doesn't take a lot of horizontal state. It's just a smart, serious design. The EF500 actually gives you a very solid set of inputs and outputs probably a little bit more than you would expect at this price in this form factor. Around the back you've got balanced XLR outputs and single-ended RCA outs. So whether you're running powered monitors or feeding a separate amp, you're good to go. For digital inputs there is a USB Type-B and a USB Type-C port. They are simply super convenient. There is also a coaxial input for traditional digital sources and an RJ45 Ethernet port for network streaming. Next to the inputs there is a small switch that lets you toggle between USB plus network or the coax. And of course, you've got a standard IEC power connector. So no wall ward, which is always a plus. On the front you get two headphone outputs, a balanced 4-pin XLR and a standard quarter inch jack. Everything on the back is spaced out well clearly labeled and feels rather durable. What makes the EF500 interesting, especially at this price point, is how feature-packed it is. One of the standout features here is that it uses Hyphen's own Himalaya R2R DAC chip. This is a big deal because R2R ladder DACs are typically reserved for much more expensive gear. They are known for their natural analog-like sound and Hyphen's implementation is based on resistor ladders on a chip. It's the same architecture used in their higher-end units, so you're almost getting flagship level digital decoding in a much more affordable chassis. On top of that, the EF500 offers both high and low gain modes, which simply makes it more flexible when it comes to headphone pairing. Then we have the oversampling filter selection. You can choose between OS and NOS digital filter modes, so that way you can subtly tailor the sound to your preference. These filters can affect things like impulse response and treble presentation, and while the differences can be subtle, they are definitely noticeable with the right headphones and material. And lastly, it's worth pointing out again that you've got streaming functionality built right in. With the Ethernet port, the EF500 can serve as a network DAC, which opens it up for a more integrated use in a home audio setup. 
At the core of the digital side is Hyphman's custom DAC module, which supports PCM decoding up to 24-bit, 768kHz. That's quite impressive. On the analog side, the headphone amp section is fully balanced, and Hyphman rates the output at 45 watts per channel at 32 ohms from the balanced out. That's a serious amount of power, enough to comfortably drive most full-sized headphones, including planars. From the single-ended quarter-inch jack, you'll get a little less, but still plenty of power. In terms of the signal-to-noise ratio, it measures in at around 117 decibels. The total harmonic distortion is rated at lower than 0.0025%. So we are talking about a very transparent signal path here. The channel separation is very high, 131 decibels. It's basically a full-featured desktop DAC amp that doesn't cut corners in the spec sheet. Starting with the tonality, the EF500 offers a sound signature that leans toward a natural and balanced presentation. Thanks to the Hyphen Himalaya DAC chip, the tonal reproduction is incredibly smooth and organic, with a warmth and richness that you don't often hear at this price. It avoids harshness or a clinical sound. Vocals come through with a lifelike quality, clear, intimate, and well-defined. Instruments have a nice weight to them, whether it's a plucked acoustic guitar or a deep cello, and there is a sense of texture that adds to the immersion. The soundstage is another area where it impresses. It's not artificially wide or exaggerated, but it's got a bit of depth and layering. This creates a more engaging and three-dimensional listening experience which is especially apparent on recordings with complex arrangements or live performances. It's not quite at the level of some ultra-high-end gear with extreme soundstage width, but for a desktop deck amp in this class, it's really solid. Dynamics are handled rather well too. This amplifier has a good grip on micro and macro scale dynamics, meaning that quiet details come through cleanly while louder passages don't feel compressed, which is great if you're driving more demanding headphones like planars or high-impedance dynamic drivers. The high-gain mode adds even more headroom without introducing any noticeable noise or distortion. Another subtle but important factor is the noise floor. The EF500 is exceptionally quiet, which keeps the background dead silent. This allows you to pick up on delicate nuances in the music without distraction. It lets you hear those fine details and ambient cues that make any track come alive. One feature that also affects the sound subtly but effectively is the oversampling filter selection. Having two different filter options lets you tweak the tonal balance and transient response slightly. OS or oversampling offers a sharper attack with a bit more brightness. The frequency response is impressively flat, but with a slight, pleasant lift in the lower mids and upper bass that adds warmth without sacrificing clarity. Overall, this amplifier delivers a sound experience that feels both musical and detailed. It's smooth and warm enough to be engaging and enjoyable for casual listening, but detailed and transparent enough for those critical listening sessions. This deck amp stands out for its natural tonality, wide and precise soundstage, controlled dynamics and a low noise floor, all powered by a unique R2R DAC implementation that elevates it above most competitors in this price range. It definitely deserves a serious listen.